So the Asian Institute of Kerala Ayurveda, this is the first institute that offering guidance and training program for medical professionals. And uh, we are providing career guidance and uh, programs about job opportunities in local and uh, abroad for Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani doctors. Uh, so I hope this webinar is also another useful webinar for all of you. Uh, without any delay, I begin the program. So today's program is about preparation and submission of required documents for Ayurveda, Yunani, Siddha, and homeopathy medical professionals. Uh, if anybody have any doubts, you can ask in the discussion session at last. So it's easy uh, for me to continue in a flow. Um, okay. Before we apply for Dubai Health Authority's MOH exams or any other uh, uh, universities, foreign universities, we should make our documents to be ready and certified first. So uh, we all have the knowledge about what are the Sri Lankan documents required for the process. That's must. So we'll uh, see one by one. So the first document is birth certificate. Uh, it should be original and taken six months before the procedure. You know, normally our certificates are in Sinhala, so we should uh, translate into English. So it should be translated by an authorized Swan translator. Uh, so that is must. Another important point is you should bring the original one which you gave to the translation and the translated one to the foreign ministry. Uh, it means the date on the both certificates, the original and the translation one should be same. Normally we have so many original certificates in our home. So if you mistakenly bring the uh, another original one and the translated one, the, uh, the dates on both certificates are different means the foreign ministry will reject your certificate. So this is, uh, you, you should consider this part. So the dates are very important. Another thing is NIC, National Identity Card. Uh, you don't need to bring this uh, and submit this, but the thing is, if you have old one and the new one, Make sure that you are writing same number in all documents. So another important uh, certificates are O-level and A-level result sheets. So you should take the uh, result sheet from the examination department. Uh, you also can visit the website of examination department and apply, or else you can directly visit their place in Batramul and apply. First thing is you should know the index number. If not, uh, go and collect in your school. If you go without knowing the index number uh, to the department, they will take about two weeks to search the index number. So you can avoid this duration and time lagging if you go with the index number. So this is the website that you know, I think, doinats.lk. You can uh, apply for the uh, website or apply through the website also. So this is the charges of uh, they are taking. For, uh, for the one copy, they are taking yes, seven. Uh, actually, we can't see the screen. OK. Yeah, it's not sharing. Thank you.
Okay. Uh, this is the website, uh, doinuts.lk. So you can directly go to the website and apply for the uh, documents. So this is the uh, payment scheme of them. So for one copy, you have to uh, pay 700 rupees. For you just take one copy on your hand and uh, inform them to uh, attestate with the foreign ministry other copy. So if you if you inform uh, to attestate the another copy to the foreign ministry, uh, they will attestate to the foreign ministry. After that, the foreign ministry accept your document. They will message you, so you can go and collect the attestated one. So for the uh, to send the foreign ministry, you have to pay extra six hundred rupees. So this is the uh, certificate that you uh, got from the uh, de examination department. It seems like this. And this is the AAL research sheet. So this, this is the uh, foreign attestation, foreign ministry attestation uh, certificate. So this seems like this. So you can go to the foreign ministry and collect this. Another thing is uh, for uh, to collect all the certificates and all, the certain person who is applying only should go. If uh, if she or he cannot go, unable to go means his or his uh, husband or wife is going mean he or she should bring the uh, marriage certificate. If the parent is going means he should he or she should bring the his uh, uh, birth certificate and your birth certificate. If your sibling is going mean he or she should bring his uh, birth certificate and your birth certificate. That is must. You should so, uh, show the evidence. Right? So the foreign minister at the station, they will charge 500 rupees. Okay. Another important part is uh, you have to collect following certificates in your universities. So in the universities, you, uh, you should collect three certificates. One is degree certificates, another one is transcription sheet, another one is internship completion letter. Uh, so bring the uh, original one of the degree certificate and take the photocopy and bring both to the university. Bring the original one and photocopy to the university and submit to the university registrar and uh, ask for the true copy. You cannot take the true copy from the GES or JP. It should be taken from the university itself. Right? After that, uh, you should uh, bring the original one and the true copy of that to the foreign ministry to attestation process. Say, same like this, you should for the transcription sheet and the uh, internship completion letter. You should bring the original one and the photocopy one and take the true copy of that. I think you got the point. So this is how the foreign ministry attestation will be like. Okay. After that, we have to take these following certificates from the Sri Lankan Ayurvedic Medical Council. So we should take Ayurvedic Medical License and Good Standing Certificates. So to get the Ayurvedic medical license, you should bring the original one uh, that also will be in Sinhala. So you should take the English translation in the department. 
But the thing is, uh, they will not give the in English translation unless you didn't complete the membership fees. Uh, for the renewal uh, membership renewal fees, uh, they will charge 300 annually. So if you are working uh, as a Ayurvedic medical officer for five years, you have to pay the area membership fees, like 1,500. For five years, you have to pay. After that only, they will give translation letter, the translation cheat. For the translation, they will charge 3,000 rupees. So uh, take the true copy from the department itself. For the true copy, they will charge 250 rupees. So better uh, call the department, ask for the documents, what are the documents we need to uh, collect the Ayurvedic medical license, means uh, inquiry about it and go to avoid your traveling issues. Okay. okay. So this is how the foreign ministry attestation will be like. Okay. To get the good standing certificates from the department, you should have the police clearance report. Earlier they have requested for the Ayurvedic commissioner's letter. Now they are not requested that. I have attached the picture of earlier uh, forms. Uh, you can see the second point, they are requesting the Ayurveda commissioner's uh, character letter. So now they are not uh, requesting that, it is not needed now. So only the police clearance report is enough to get the good standing certificate. Okay. To get the police clearance report, uh, you should have following uh, letters and certificates. So the uh, first of all, you have to write a request letter uh, to the your area police OIC, like I'm an Ayurvedic doctor, I need police clearance report to take the good standard certificate from Ayurveda department. So please address Ayurvedic commissioner and give the uh, police character report like that. You should uh, write a letter to the your area Oh, I see. After about two weeks, they will give a police clearance report. Okay. So take a copy of the NIC, take the uh, DS character uh, certificate and village community police unit president's recommendation letter. Uh, if this is not uh, re uh, required for all the people, all area people, because uh, if, if in your area, if there is any village community policy unit precedent means you should take this. If not, you just uh, uh, omit this process. Okay. After that, uh, you should uh, bring the police clearance report and uh, submit the uh, police clearance uh, certificate and the application form of the good standard certificate to the department, Sri Lankan Medical, Ayurvedic Medical Council. You can collect the application form from the uh, department and submit both to the department. After that, they will give the good standard certificate. And don't forget to take the true copy from the department itself. Okay. Another thing is experience letter. If you are working in a government hospital, means uh, you just simply uh, get an experience letter from your department head and get the true copy from your department. But uh, if you complete your uh, intern period and you, are, you didn't get your uh, appointment yet me, if you have the experience of two, uh, two years experience, working experience in the private sector means you have to do some uh, procedures. So it might be different uh, uh, procedures. Uh, if you have the job contract with your private uh, hospital, uh, the procedure is different. If you don't know the, if, if you don't have the job agreement mean the procedure is different. 
if you have the job contract means you have to attach the job contract uh, uh, contract sheet and uh, last three months salary uh, slips and experience letter from your workplace and submit true copy of all about to, to the documents to the foreign ministry you should take all the documents from your working place and true copy from your working place right then submit to the foreign ministry. If you don't have the job the agreement means, take the experience letter from the working place and take the true copy from there and uh, bring that uh, documents to a lawyer and uh, take affidavit from a lawyer and uh, submit to the uh, Supreme Court. Uh, that lawyer will do that procedure. Uh, if you tell, uh, you should attestate with Supreme Court mean they will do that for you. After that, submit all the documents to the foreign ministry. So if you have the job contract means, the procedure is different. If you don't have the job uh, contract or agreement means, you should do this procedure. Another important thing is, uh, normally in Sri Lanka, Ayurvedic doctors are getting appointment after two or three uh, years after the internship. So in that working period, although you are working in a government sector, uh, you should attach the private working experience letter also because in the uh, uh, in the foreign ministry attestation you should uh, mention the, the you, sh you should give the uh, evidence to work uh, to show the working experience from the date which is mentioned in your uh, medical license from your medical license to up to date where, should, uh, where uh, you did work like that, you have to show the evidence. So uh, from the uh, date in the medical license to up to date, you should show the evidence of your working. You should show the working experience. So you have to uh, attach the private experience and also the government experience. I think that this part also will clear for you all. After another very important thing is first aid and the basic life skill certificate. So if you search in Google, there are so many institutions that are showing that they are offering first aid and basic life skills. Uh, skill certificate like that but better in Sri Lanka we found Lanka hospital is giving this certificate that is one day course uh, they are charging 6500 rupees for the course you simply uh, we are attaching this uh, their email address also we simply uh, you simply uh, inquiry through the email at email and uh, you can go uh, they will give a date so you can go and do your course and get the certificate. And don't forget to take the true copy of that certificate from the hospital. If to every certificate, you should say uh, you should take the true copy from uh, each and every uh, institutions. Okay. Okay. So this is not compulsory, but if you have this qualification, you also can attach this. If you have if you have completed diploma in counseling in NIST or relevant relevant institute means that should be the, the government approved institute institutions. And if you did external pharmacy in Sri Lanka Medical Council means you just attach the uh, true copy. You just uh, you just uh, take the true copy from the each and every institution and attach for, to the uh, foreign ministry. So true copy. You should take the true copy from that institutions. Okay. Now uh, the foreign ministry attestation. Uh, they are charging uh, uh, these amounts. Only uh, uh, all level and A level resource sheet only. They charge. 500 per certificate, but other certificates, they are charging 800 rupees. For the uh, counseling and pharmacy certificate also, they are charging 800 rupees.
Okay. So for the best thing is you just collect all the certificates and the true copy of the certificate and uh, go to the foreign ministry at once. With all the certificates, you go at once and certify all the certificates to avoid your uh, traveling issues. So it's better way to collect all the certificate first and go uh, the foreign ministry uh, uh, at a state at once. Sometimes, if uh, if the if some signatures uh, they didn't uh, have some sig signatures, mean uh, it, the procedure will take uh, some days. Uh, if they have all the signatures, means they will give in one day. If they didn't give the uh, give uh, didn't have the such, uh, signatures, mean only it will take time. Otherwise, you can get in one day. Okay, for the Dubai, uh, uh, I, now I am ta uh, telling about the Dubai uh, embassy procedure. In coming week, we have another webinar about the legal procedure to the UK uh, migration. So today I'm uh, uh, targeting and uh, consider about the Dubai um, uh, migration. So for the Dubai uh, embassy attestation, you just need degree certificate only that you collect from the university. Other certificates are not needed for the Dubai embassy. So before you going to the Dubai embassy, you should bring the vaccine card. They are not allowing without vaccine card. So you should bring the vaccine card and you should bring, bring a debit or credit card with activate a foreign payment activated. That, that is must. So we, uh, if you have visa card, it's enough. Master mean you cannot bring. Uh, visa you can bring. Uh, after that, in your account, you have to have at least 20,000 rupees because they will charge 18,000 rupees for the attestation of a single certificate. So you are only going to attest the degree certificate only. So 18,000, they will charge 18,000 rupees. Okay. You have attested all the documents from the foreign ministry and the Dubai embassy mean, what is the next procedure? If you bring all your attested documents and the true copy of it to the ICAR, we will submit, we will uh, check for all the uh, corrections. If you did any mistakes, if you do any mistakes, we will correct and let you know to avoid the cancellation of your uh, documentation. If you submit uh, to the uh, uh, data flow procedure, we cannot get back. If, if, if there is any flaws, any wrong in your certificates, uh, they will reject at once. So if you bring to the ICAR, we will check, uh, uh, we have experienced uh, doctors in this field. So we will check after that, we will forward those documents to data flow examination registration agencies in Dubai. So they will, uh, we will submit the soft copy only. So they will uh, go through the certification. They will do the verifications. If there is any mistakes, they will uh, inform us and they will again, uh, we can send the do uh, relevant documents them again. After that, they will do system verification. They will forward to system verification. If the system, very after system verification, if your uh, documents, you, if you are not eligible to apply means they will reject you. If you rejected me, you have to uh, do the procedure again. You have to correct the, what is the mistakes mean? You have to correct. Uh, if, if, you're all, if, if the documents are uh, uh, genuine mean, they will accept. It, it, uh, if not mean, they will reject. If the uh, documents are accepted mean, you can participate for the exam. So if you, pa if you pass the exam, they will give the, uh, they will give the registration according to the UAE government rules and regulations. If you file, don't need to submit the documents again. Uh, you can uh, only pay the examination fee and you can rewrite the exam. 
for the DHS uh, Dubai Health Authority, you have to pay 935 dirhams. Uh, so after two weeks, you can get the uh, uh, result. Uh, it means the docu, docu, uh, system verification you can get uh, after two weeks. If you want immediately, it means three day for the three day service express service, they will charge another 300 to 350 dirhams. So you can get the system verification results in three days. So the exam you have to uh, uh, give a 300 dirham for the exam payment as an exam payment. So there is no any compulsory to do the procedure through a uh, data flow registration agency. If you can go and you can directly go to the Dubai Health Authority and you can submit all the documents, you can. But if you have any uh, uh, flaws in your documents, they will reject in, uh, directly. They will not give any chance. So that's just the thing. If you, if you can, you can go and directly uh, submit your documents. And also, you can prepare these uh, documents and you can collect your documents parallelly you are preparing uh, for the exam. So the M, uh, already there are so many Indian doctors uh, passed the MOH exams. So uh, in Sri Lanka, uh, that is rare. We, uh, so ICA conduct through uh, the already passed Indian doctors and get the contact number of examination coaching institution in Dubai and India. And we struggle a lot to get this chance to Sri Lankan doctors. So today we succeed in this procedure after a lot of struggles. So now all the Sri Lankan doctors can uh, apply for the MOJ exams and uh, you can get the chance of uh, coaching classes in Sri Lanka. So this is the first time in Sri Lanka, AICA has arranged this opportunity for you all. Uh, so this, uh, for our first batch is start, uh, intake is started in the 29th of August. So already uh, we have six seats booked uh, for the first batch, we are taking only 10 students. So if anybody interested, you can contact us. So the class will be like uh, sun, uh, Monday to Saturday, 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., two hours class daily. In Sundays, you have exams. So that you can do any time, not only the particular time. Of on, the, on the Sundays, you can do the exam at any time that you wish. So lectures will be conducted by uh, doctors who already got through Dubai MOH exams and successfully uh, practicing in Dubai. So the classes will be like systemic wise theory classes. So uh, normally the target is not explain the theory. This is targeting about the exam only because we already know the systemic uh, part and all the things. Mm -hmm. So they are uh, targeting for the exam purpose and systemic wise practice exam and marking scheme also they will give. So Dr. Anju Priya will take the lectures. Uh, he's a homeopathic medical uh, physician. So the Duke, he's already qualified, uh, a much qualified physician. Her specialty is he, uh, he's teaching uh, for three batches currently for day and night. So she is well known, experienced in this field. So uh, well knowledge and well familiar in the current question patterns. And uh, she is well uh, knowledge about the past papers as well as the model papers. And she will do all the classes for you all. And she will conduct weekly examination and she make you to prepare for the examination well. So she is successfully uh, doing uh, in this field. Uh, I think uh, you all said uh, for the previous meeting with Dr. Anju Priya, if anybody didn't uh, uh, came to that webinar, you can check our uh, YouTube channel called Ayurveda Aika. You can, we uploaded all the videos. You can watch her video also. So as I said earlier, already six seats already booked, only four seats are left. So first come first serve basis, we will book your seat. 
So if anybody wants to join our MOJ coaching classes, uh, you can contact our admin number. They will give enough details for you. Uh, if, if you have any doubt, our doctors are here to uh, answer for your questions. Uh, already applied uh, doctors are here. Uh, so they will answer for your questions. If you have any doubt, you can ask. In any language, you can ask. Sinhala, Tamil, English, you can ask. I am Dr. Padmini. I want to know whether is there is any age limit. Sorry, doctor, I can't hear you. I am Dr. Padmini. I, I want to know whether... Uh, whether there are any uh, age limit. Age limit? Yeah, yeah. I think there is no any age limit. Okay. And uh, what about the doctors who get the diploma without the uh, graduate? graduate? No, doctor. This is for only a BUMS and BSMS and uh, BAMS graduates. This pro uh, this procedure I explained up to now is yeah, for yeah. the doctors only. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. Doctors only. But uh, yes. the uh, physiotherapist, uh, if, if, if anybody followed physiotherapy course from the universities with the degree, they, they can uh, apply like this. In this way, they can apply. Mm -hmm. No, I want. I just want to talk because uh, earlier uh, our um, um, institutes gave the diploma certificate for the. Oh, okay, okay, okay. DAMS, right? Yeah, DAMS, uh, like that. Yeah, DSAC, like that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. That's what I want to ask. Okay, that thing is should be cleared. Yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, I'll, I'll let you know, doctor, I, I'll let you know. I really didn't know about it. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, because now I am uh, visiting uh, Canada. Uh, this end of this month, I'm uh, back to Sri Lanka. Then I will uh, call this number and uh, get some information from you. Ah, okay, doctor. Yeah. With pleasure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for your time and uh, good explanation. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much. Yeah, excuse me, Madam. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm a doctor, Yunani doctor. Uh, yeah. Still, we are preparing the documents, but is it possible to uh, apply for this MOJ exam classes uh, earlier? No, no. Or That's why I said earlier, that... you, you can parallelly start your education part. Yeah, Can yeah. While we are preparing the documents, no? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we can enter into this MOH exam classes also parallelly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm to uh, it is not compulsory after the after finishing the document clearance and all, no? No, no. 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 It is not compulsory like that. You can parallelly uh -huh. start this procedure. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Thank Understood. you. Thank you very Thank much. You. If any further information, I'll contact this number, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But now okay, I am okay. uh, in okay. Canada. Uh, okay, thank you. I'm uh, come back to Sri Lanka. Then I can uh, contact you. Okay, doctor. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much. If there are any doubt, you can ask. If not, we can end, wind up the meeting. If you want further details, you want to talk with uh, already applied doctors, yes. we can arrange those facilities. If you contact the admin number, we can arrange the, uh, those facilities. Yes, ask. 
Mm, I'm a Yunani doctor. Okay. We have done the first aid uh, one day course and got certificate from John Kutulava University. Is it enough? In the certificate, if you uh, got like basic life skill, basic life support like that, it is enough. First aid and basic life, this term is should be there. Basic life support or basic life skill is should be there. Okay, thank you. If they offer like that, that is enough. The Lanka hospital is so offering like that. Uh, first aid and basic life support like that, they are uh, giving the certificate. And uh, excuse me, ma'am, uh, this uh, MOH exam courses will be conducted. How long it will take uh, the course, uh, course duration? It's about 40 days. 40 one days. And half month. Yeah, one and a half month. It is an on, on site or online? Online. Online. Because the doctor is in Dubai. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. The undergraduate doctor is in Dubai. So okay. she will conduct from there. So uh -huh. probably a Zoom class or else Google meeting. Okay. What about the time duration and all? Uh, morning <clears throat> or evening? It's Every how it night, is. two hours. 8.30 to 8 to 10. Every night? Every night, yes. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Welcome. Uh, excuse me. Okay. Yes. Uh, may I know the uh, cost fee? Uh, yes. uh, how may be the cost fee? And uh, could you please ex uh, explain about the MOH ex uh, exam uh, further? The MOH exam details already Anjupriya, Dr. Anjupriya gave those details in the previous webinar. Mm -hmm. uh, you can watch in our YouTube channel uh, that is called Ayurveda Aika. Uh, if I repeat it again, it's a vast procedure. So she explained very well in the last webinar, so you can watch that video if you didn't attend that meeting. The course uh, charges, uh, uh, this is the, this charge is only for the first batch we are charging. Mm -hmm. That is about 1000 dirham. Okay, this is only, this offer is only for the first batch. For other batch, the charge will be increased. Mm -hmm. uh, because we requested uh, to the foreign doctors and the foreign institutes that we collaborate with. Uh, so we are not family, uh, Sri Lankan doctors are not family with this procedure. So you should give any discount like that. We, we requested that why they willing to give the uh, a chance and they know the economical situation of the Sri Lanka and they offered us for the thousand dirham. Mm -hmm. So it is about if you pass the exam and if you uh, get the job there, it is just one tenth of your first month salary. Mm -hmm. Just one tenth. Thousand dirham is your one tenth of the first month salary. So this is not a very much cost for you all. This is your lifetime investment. Thank you. Yeah. Ma'am, um, course duration? As I said already, uh, the course duration is like 40 days. It is about 40 days, uh, about one and a half month to two months. Uh, the Andrew, Dr. No. Andrupriya will give the explanation and make you uh, prepare for the examination very well. Very clearly she will explain. Uh, so don't worry about the uh, coaching procedure. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, now, Fia, now Fia. Yeah. 
hello i didn't get the clear way that uh, how should we take the police clearance letter that would good standing ah, okay. certificate okay okay i'll explain from from the department or from the uh, police uh, office yes you you should get the police clearance uh, certificate from the police office police office okay you have for, for to get the police clearance report you should okay. write the letter to the uh, your area oic like i am an ayurvedic doctor i need uh, this good standing certificate from the ayurvedic department so that uh, you have to give the police clearance certificate and address the ayurvedic commissioner on that certificate and give me the certificate like that you sh you should write a letter request letter to the oic after you hand over the letter two weeks later they will give the police clearance report so you should uh, bring the police clearance report to the sri lankan medical council ayurvedic medical council and uh, get an application form uh, for the good standing certificate and fill it there and submit both uh, the application form and the police clearance certificate there after that they will give the good standard certificate okay okay right right okay thank you very much okay welcome any doubts so some participants doctors have asked the recordings of this videos yes we will give the recordings later you can watch it we if you don't have any doubts we can wind up okay thank you so much thank you so much for the participation if you have any doubts and if you want, uh, need any inquiries contact this number they will give uh, details about the course and all excuse me ma'am yeah uh, is there any expiration for the attestation documents we are taking from the foreign ministry and the embassy you are you are asking uh, if you after attestation from the foreign ministry is there any uh, expiry date yeah yeah oh, okay uh i think uh, within 2 years like i i am uh, not sure about it uh, doctors uh, i think there is doctors who applied already here doctor mm. after attestation you uh, you have to do the procedures so i think uh, 
I really do not know. I have to clarify this. Uh, okay, okay, thank you. Welcome. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. After coaching classes uh, uh, finish, will I come make arrange the uh, exam registration procedure? Yes, yes, we will help you. Okay. We will help you for that and uh, we will uh, attach your documents to the embassy and uh, the agencies and all. So we will help you for, for all the procedure. Okay, I think uh, I can wind up the meeting. If you have any doubts, you can ask now itself. Uh, the doctor who already asked for the expiry date for the attestation certificate, I will, uh, we will clarify it through the uh, WhatsApp group. Uh, I think you already know WhatsApp group, so we will clarify it in the WhatsApp group. Okay, thank you so much doctors to participate in this webinar. I think it might be useful for you all. Okay, uh, we'll wind up this program. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much.